Well, how was everyone's January in the sewing room? Were you guys able to make a bunch of stuff? Um, I know that I did. I had a really good time in the sewing room this month and I will show you all the things that I made. But first, I wanna talk to you about today's video sponsor, Thimbles For You. Yes, you guys, customized, beautiful, like legitimate artwork in their own right. Um, and I don't mean to be giving you the finger. I'm sorry. Um, beautiful, genuinely beautiful, handcrafted sterling silver thimbles. Uh, this woman, Jan Larson, is an actual silversmith. And she designs these thimbles that are just honestly works of art. So she's got tons of different designs. She's got um, obviously like nature stuff like honeycombs and bees and butterflies and um dragonflies uh some floral type stuff um she's got this really beautiful one that's like a lamb situation really really sweet she's also got some more gothic ones she's got some with like little stones in the middle which are also just genuinely so so beautiful and then she has um four different uh, thimble styles and I'm going to be telling you guys a lot more about thimbles and styles and how to make sure they fit and all, all, all that kind of good stuff in a later video but um, I just today want to introduce you to what she's got so that you if you're interested in buying a thimble you can go check them out but she's got closed thimbles she's got open nail thimbles she's got open top slash tailor thimbles and then she's also got the yubanuki ones which are like the like rings um so depending on what you like to work with for your hand sewing uh jan has got you covered these are genuinely stunning you can pass them down from generation to generation they're really really beautiful if you know anyone or you yourself is doing a lot of hand sewing you know how invaluable a thimble is and getting one that's well made and fits well makes all the difference in the world. So I'm gonna have a link in the description box where you guys can go check out uh, Jan's website, thimblesforyou.com. So, um, so yeah, go check them out and reach out to Jan if you have any questions. Like I said, I'll be back um, in a couple weeks to talk about thimble fitting and how to know if you have the right thimble shape for your finger. All right, but moving on into our makes for January. The good news slash possibly sad news is that you guys have seen everything that I've made in January. <laughs> I post, I, I, all of my Me Made Mondays were things that I, like I made it and then the following week I posted it on Me Made Monday, which doesn't always happen at all. But this month that's how it happened to work out. So first up we have the... So first up was the Love Notions Cadence Dress that I made. This was made to promote the Sew Along that I'm teaching at Sew Expo later this month. Um, super, super cute dress. Loved making it. Love wearing it. The fit is nearly spot on. I have to make some adjustments um, in the sleeve. I don't know if you can tell that the sleeve cap is a little bit like there's not enough room for my shoulders in there um but other than that I'm pretty sure the fit is like spot on um so I'm real excited about this dress the fabric is from Sunmaker Fabrics um it's called like Warehouse District like artistic stripe or something I'll have it linked for you guys um but yeah this is just a really cute sweet style that's very easy to wear very comfortable and um, very easy to sew. So um, the class that I'm teaching is almost sold out, but I'm excited that there's gonna be um, 30, at least 30 more <laughs> cadences out in the world because it's really, really great. I've got two more planned um, that I'll need to make for that class. Um, and I think both of those are gonna be tops. Um, so I'm excited um, to make it again and kind of perfect the pattern um, even more. 
Then I showed you guys my 40K Sway Top. This is the Sew Together pattern for January. I feel like I've said that a thousand times this month. Um, cute little free pattern, 100% free, with a really great little asymmetrical neckline that you can either um, sew so that it, it is a functional placket or you can sew it so that it doesn't open up at all. Great for breastfeeding moms or for anyone that needs access to their chest in that way. Regardless of whether you make the functional placket or not, the neckline is really unique and different. And I love that it's in a free pattern. I mean, how many free t-shirt patterns are there out there? This one is a t-shirt, but with a little bit of extra flair. And I feel like that's what Georgian Ginger, the designer of this pattern, I feel like that's kind of what all her patterns have to offer is it's like a basic with a, you know what I mean? And her happens to be really badass, really cool, really like, I don't know, funky. Um, I made mine out of a Jersey bed sheet, uh, but you can search the Sew Together 21 hashtag on Instagram to see all the versions that everybody else has been making um, in January. A lot of really great striped versions. Um, Lori from Girls in the Garden made a cool tie-dye one. So there's some really, really cute options there. Everyone's done a really great job with it. Um, so I did those two things and then that might be it, you guys. I already talked to you about the York Pinafore. I already talked to you about M818. You know what I haven't shown you guys, but I did completely finish is Butterick 6333. This is a denim shirt dress that I started for my It's So Easy TV presentation because I was showing how to change teardrop pockets into pockets that are sewn into the waist seam and I used this pattern for the skirt pieces that I was using on the show. So I had the skirt cut out, I had the, and then by the time I left and had finished the presentation, the pockets were already sewn in and the side seams were done. So I was like, I need to just finish this. Um, so it's a really cute shirt dress. I did um, like copper snaps up the center front, really took my time on the collar stand and collar situation. So I feel really good about how that turned out. Easily my best collar stand I've ever done. Um, and that just comes with practice, 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 practice. You know what I mean? But other than that, the only thing that I have sewn is really just a long-term work in progress. And that is my honey quilt. It's the quilt that I'm making for honey but that we will both use. And you can see I got two blocks done. Look at me go. I'm using the Bonnie and Camille Quilt B book. Yeah, Camille's Beehive Quilt pattern to make this cute little thing. It's this design all the way or throughout and then it has like contrasting sashing and that's it and then the back. So it has this background sashing this little design in the middle. Yeah, that's it. So I'll be working on this slow and steady uh, <laughs> for the next few weeks. I'm trying to get like a block or so done a day. But it's just it's not it's not natural to me um, to sew the same thing over and over and over and over again. I'm finding it a little bit tedious and a little bit like not that I get frustrated with it, but I just get bored. Um, like after you got the first block done, then you're kind of like, and you see how it comes together, then you're like, okay, now I have to do this 50 some odd more times. Like, <laughs> but I do want to have the quilt. I do have quilts that I have made in the past and I do love them. So I think it's just got to power through and, um, and I'll be happy in the end. Speaking of which, if you're in the Charlotte area and you know anyone that does long arm quilting, obviously, paid, um, let me know because I will be looking for someone. I don't want to attempt that on my own. I'd rather just send it off to an expert. I think I'm going to do my own binding on this one, but I would look for someone who does um, the long arm quilting. So, but yeah, that's really it. January, um, it has been some sewing for me, but also a lot of prep work for what I've got going on in February and March. So, um, so yeah, that's okay with me that I only made three things. Um, I don't need to bust out eight items every single month, especially when I know what I've got on the docket. You know what I mean? 
Um, so yeah, that's it. That's what I made in January. I'd love to hear what you sewed. Um, if you were working on anything special, if you like achieved a, a big goal, or if you like me with the collar stand did something that you're actually really proud of, you know, a difficult skill or something like that, let me know in the comment section below. But that is going to do it for me today and our quick little makes video. Do not forget to go check out thimbles for you and check out these truly stunning gorgeous gorgeous thimbles i think this is the one that i'm going to keep um but i think that's this is going to be my guy it has like dragonfly on it and some flowers in the back it's really 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 cute um but yeah so that's it that's gonna do it thank you all so much for watching i'll see you very soon bye